Hey gang, it's Gus Wagner here from the Rocket Group and I uh, wanted to talk to you today about something that might seem kind of simple but it's something that uh, keeps coming up or time and time again in our uh, Uncle Ben social media reviews uh, here this month as I'm filming this in January of 2015 and that's how do you sign up for a Twitter account? How do you get started on Twitter? Well the first thing you uh, I'll say is that uh, I'm biased. Twitter is my uh, favorite social media platform uh, as you can see here and if you follow us at, uh, at Rocket Group on Twitter uh, you'll see that we're pretty prolific here in sharing educate or educational, informational, and entertaining uh, information to our audiences here. Um, so we find it very important to reach audiences, to reach influencers, to to share information, to uh, get involved in communities, uh, and so on and so forth. It's a very very powerful tool. If it wasn't, you wouldn't see hashtags and at handles, Twitter handles uh, everywhere you look in TV, in newsprint, where have you. So what are we going to do? Well, first we're going to go to Twitter.com. Welcome to Twitter, they say. Um, and right here, there's a, there's a call to action. How do you uh, new to Twitter? Sign up. Well, we're going to set up a uh, temporary fake account here. And I don't know why this is on my head or on my mind, but I'm going to set it up as Wilson Volleyball, and then I'm going to use one of my wife's emails to set this up. So we've entered a name, our, our handle, our real name, Wilson Volleyball, the email address, and a password. Then we click sign up for Twitter. And we're going to go to, uh, it's going to take you to another screen. So it says Wilson Volleyball is uh, available. The name looks great. That means uh, your own name looks great. It's not something that they would be find objectionable. The email address uh, is available. There's only one handle per email address on the system. So if you've got want to have multiple handles, you're going to have to have multiple email addresses. So and Farah has her uh, several different Twitter accounts tied to other uh, email addresses. The password could be more secure, but for sample purposes, we're not going to worry about that right now. So let's see what happens when we put in Wilson Volleyball as a username. That one's already taken. And it actually, it's beyond the limit. You'll see it's dropped off one of the L here. So let's try Wilson Volleyball. That name is already taken. Volley ball W already taken it's already taken but it's not appropriate Tom Hanks volley ball all right for so for time purposes here we're going to move forward and say that the username is going to be Tom Hanks volley All right, so now we've got a welcome screen. You see some information that people are tweeting out. You'll see different things. And here's a couple different points. You'll see where there's a Twitter handle here, DK10. Here's the most popular uh, image of 2014 being shared. This, uh, I think it was from the Emmys, from the Ellen Show, uh, et cetera. So let's get in here and let's go. What are we interested in? Okay, they're going to prompt you to go out and follow a bunch of things. So do you want to get into different categories here of what these might be your interests? So if we said popular accounts and hit continue, it's going to show us some suggested accounts of, of people that we should follow. So these are, uh, I'm in Jefferson City, Missouri, so it's going to find things that are going to be interesting to me geographically and uh, generic interest-wise. What's most popular on Twitter? So we've got the Royals that are popular. Eric Hosmer, the first baseman for the Royals. The President, the Kansas City Police. By the way, the Kansas City Police do an excellent job with their tweeting. Jimmy Fallon, Sports Center. Uh, on and on. It's going to show things that are very popular in there. So we're just going to unmark that and we're going to continue. And what we're going to do is get into the account setup. The first thing that you should do, well it's going to prompt us to follow these accounts here again. They're going to recommend that you start following people right off the bat. And we don't want to do that. So we're going to X out of these real quick. 
because I, what I want to get to is actually the account setup and what is so important about setting this up right from day one. Filling out all your information, providing information as far as what people are looking for that might be interested in following you because you want to create a great first impression on Twitter when you get started here. So my suggestion for that, this is their suggestion for you, my suggestion is X out of all that and skip that step. Alright, so customize our profile. This is what I really wanted to talk about here. We want to create, this is the unhatched egg. When you sign up for Twitter, you are an unhatched egg. And if you skip this step, you look like a spammer. You look like you're hiding something. You look like you're, you can't even take the time to upload a photo. So we're going to upload this photo real quick. I already had one set up here. There's Wilson's Volleyball. And we've applied that. See now there's a profile picture. We Now when we're tweeting or following people or whatever, we're giving an impression that hey, there's at least something here that's reflective of this name and this Twitter handle, Wilson's Volleyball. Continue with that. Continue. Find people you know. This is going to give you a, an option to combine your email addresses, find people that you might be on Twitter. Again, I recommend skipping this step, which is right here on the bottom. Skip this step. So while Twitter's configuring all of this, and that was really quick, uh, and they're going to ask you to confirm this, but we're going to delete this account as soon as we're done with this video. We're going to do a couple different things here. We're going to edit our profile, and we're going to add a header, header image. And again, we're establishing who we are by identifying that we've actually taken the time to do so. If we go over here to my Twitter uh, list, Well, it's not going to let me do, see that. But if we scroll through here, you'll see here's this guy doesn't have a header image. This guy doesn't have a header image. This guy does. Looks professional. This one doesn't. This one does. This one does. It's just an extra step so you stand out. Here's a couple here. Here's a guy that doesn't have a, a Twitter image, or a, a profile image loaded. Uh, again, just setting these things up sets you up to look professional when you're on the Twitter. So let's go back to our account here. Save changes. Now we've got that done. Now we want to go in to our settings. And we could fill in all this information. See, we've now got a Twitter address at twitter.com, Tom Hanks Volley. We put our email address, our time zone, our English speaking, or whatever language we're sending. Um, what we want to set up is our bio. And they've moved this on me since the last time I've really done this. But we want to set up our bio. And the bio is going to tell us who we are and what our what our deal is. As you can see, what I'm talking about when I say the bio, I'm talking about this language right here that says who we are, what we are, includes some hashtags. Uh, here's you know what I do, what I do, where I'm at, something I'm involved in. Here's my location. Here's my website. Here's when I joined Twitter. If you set up that information on the the uh, uh, Twitter bio, the Twitter settings, if I could find that page to do so, uh, we'd be a lot better off. So here's our bio right here actually. So we're going to say uh, a not just a sporting Good, but a movie icon, and we already do have a character limit of like 200 and some characters here, located in Jefferson City, Missouri. 
We want to hashtag Missouri, hashtag JCMO, interested in movies. Again, hashtagging at Tom Hanks and hates boats. My location is Jefferson City, Missouri. And again, you should try to spell it right. And our website is www.tomhanks.com. Save changes. So now we have a bio there. We've got a profile picture, we've got a cover image, we've got a bio. So now we can go out and start following people, uh, interacting with people. Here's here's uh, suggested here, who's the follow? You see three popular uh, culture uh, folks. If we go to suggested to follows, it's gonna give us hundreds and hundreds and hundreds more. If you just go in here and search Twitter and search things like Missouri, We'll get results that can help us to be better at Twitter and finding folks that are on that are talking about Missouri. Um, well, there's a child, uh, a murder. There's the governor. There's the state website. Uh, on and on and on. If we go up here and search for Tom Hanks, it's going to take us to Tom Hanks' account. The New York Times, different things that are interactive. Uh, here's tweets about Tom Hanks, on and on and on. So that's how you get going with Twitter. I hope this has been beneficial. Uh, went a couple minutes longer than I planned on, but uh, I think it's an important tool for you to use and consider using, and there's a quick walkthrough of how to set it up. So in 12 minutes or less, you can be set up on Twitter and start tweeting. We'll get to the tweet, how best to tweet in the links below. Feel free to contact us at rocketgroupllc.com. Follow us on Twitter at Rocket Group. And uh, if you have any questions at any time that we can help you with, feel free to reach out. Again, I'm Gus Wagner. I thank you for the time, and we will talk to you soon. Bye now.